10. It's a story with a happy ending out of Clatsop County. Westport firefighters saved a dog after it slipped down an embankment. This wasn't a little fall. She fell nearly 60 feet. And to make things even worse, that pup had been missing for nearly two days. Fox 12's Bridget Chavez joins us live after talking with the owner. Bridget, how's that dog doing tonight? Yeah, Presley, the 10-year-old Great Dane, is doing better. She's recovering at home and is expected to be okay. Her owner tells me she can't thank those crews enough for saving her dog and is just grateful that they didn't turn her away. It was a typical Sunday morning for Susan Clark and her Great Dane, Presley. She took her outside like she always does. I turned around and said, come on, Presley, and she was gone, vanished. And I looked and looked and looked everywhere. But Presley was nowhere to be found. Clark then enlisted the help of her friends, but still couldn't find her. The pup was missing for nearly two days until... The neighbor came up and said, is she wearing a coat? I said, yeah. She goes, come with me. I want to show you something. As soon as she heard my voice, she started barking. And so I knew she was alive, which was good. But finding Presley was only the start of it. The dog had slipped down an embankment and couldn't walk. That's when Clark called Westport Fire and Rescue. He said, you know, we don't rescue dogs. And I begged him to please ask anybody. He said, okay. Came back on the phone and he said, what's the address? They're going to be on their way. The crew loaded Presley onto a stretcher and lifted her out. Oh my gosh, they were amazing. And I feel so lucky that they didn't turn me away. And if anybody needed any type of rescue, I definitely would call them. They're awesome. It was a lot of relief. As soon as they got her into my rig and the one lady that is a vet tech, she told me, Sue, she's gonna be okay. And that made me feel really good. Definitely a happy ending there, and they did take Presley to the vet where she was seen. They say she was dehydrated and very hungry. She'd been missing for 40 hours at that point. Um, again, she's recovering at home and is expected to be okay. Reporting live from the Mobile Newsroom, Bridget Chavez, Fox 12, Oregon.